By the end of this video, you are going to master which diseases need airborne precautions, droplet precautions, and contact precautions. And bonus guys, I'm going to teach you how to manage patients with droplet, airborne, and contact diseases. The most important nursing management. Let's go. Oh no, there's an outbreak of contact diseases. I'm going to call Mrs. Wee. M stands for MRSA or Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus Aureus. R for Respiratory Syncytial Virus. S is for Scabies, Shingles, and Lice. W is for Wound Infections, especially the draining ones. Draining Wounds. E for Enteric Infections, especially Clostridium Difficile. And E, eye infections, pink eye and conjunctivitis. For contact precautions, remember to call Mrs. Wee. Look at that! Someone is about to drop! Let's call Spider-Man! Droplet precautions. Spider-Man. S for sepsis. P for pertussis and pneumonia. I is for influenza. D is for diphtheria. E is for epiglottitis. R is for rubella, German measles. M is for mumps. A is for adenovirus. And N is for Neisseria meningitis. Someone is about to drop. Let's call Spider-Man. Did you know that chickens are the only birds that couldn't fly in the air? You know why? Because oh my, my chicken God. has TB. My chicken has TB. M. Measles or rubiola. C for chicken pox. H is for herpes zoster. And T is for tuberculosis. Airborne diseases, my chicken has TB. So how do we manage patients in contact precautions? Guys, remember, contact, touch, okay? So as nurses, we need to wear gloves and gown. We must place our patients in private or cohort rooms. When we say cohort, guys, place the patients with the same contact diseases, okay? Cohort them. Patients with the same infection, they can room together. And also, have their own dedicated BP cuff, stethoscopes, because contact, guys, remember, contact diseases are spread through contact, through touch, from one person to another. So to avoid that, we must protect ourselves with gown and gloves. And the most important thing is hand hygiene. We must wash our hands with soap and water. We must avoid alcohol-based. We must wash our hands with soap and water to avoid spreading of the disease, okay? So for droplet precautions, guys, we must remember that the disease will spread through sneeze and cough through saliva, okay? That is for droplet. So as nurses, we need to wear surgical masks and eye protection or goggles. We must wear surgical masks and goggles to avoid the saliva going through our eyes and our mucous membranes. The room setup, we must room our patients in private and also cohort. Remember the meaning of cohort, right? Cohort, the same diseases. Place patients with the same disease. And remember to always keep the door closed, okay? To avoid the spread of droplet diseases. And also, if your patient is going to be transferred from one room to another, you must let the patient wear a surgical mask, okay? But if not, limit the transfer, no? They must stay in their rooms. That's a bonus tip. And lastly, for patients with airborne precautions, you must remember that the germs float. They fly. So as nurses, we need to wear N95 mask or it could be high-level respirator. And it must be well-fitted. It fits perfectly, okay? To avoid the floating germs to enter our mucous membranes and our airway. We must place our patients in negative pressure rooms and keep the door closed at all times. If the patient needs to be transferred, we must let them wear a face mask and we must avoid visitors and patient movement as much as possible. Limit visitors. And that's it, nurses. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and share this video and you are going to pass the PNLE and the NCLEX. See ya!